What's up everybody and welcome back to my new video. It's Autumn Leonel aka Outleo8 and today I'm gonna make a breakdown of this DeAndre Ayton design I made a few days ago. But right before we jump into the video I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. All links in the description so let's get started. First of all I took a DeAndre Ayton photo from Getty Images and I removed the watermark then what I did was I duplicated the layer and uh, I went to camera and made some adjustments here we can see what I did so I increased the highlights, I decreased the shadows I increased the, the white and blacks um, then I increased a lot the texture and the, the clarity here the before and now the after also I added a little bit noise reduction and I increased a little bit the sharpening so just add a little bit more detail then I went to effects and I added a little bit of grain then I took the level slayer and decreased a little bit the blacks afterward I added the gradient map and here I had a colors of the Phoenix Suns city jersey so I took the gradient map and you can see that I added the colors here from the city jersey of Phoenix Suns and applied it to the under Aton. then I made the eyes and the logos in white so it kind of pop out also I did the same to the valley text on the jersey and uh, made it completely white after what I added the posterized layer so it made it look kind of more contrasted then I corrected it a little bit with the levels layer so I had one on multiply what actually controls the blacks and the shadows and then I had it the same but on screen what actually controlled the highlights and the bright parts so this is basically what I did to the under 8 on you can see the before and after then I added some text on the top left corner so I basically had a simple so I had a simple text of the Andre. Um, I made a selection of the text and then I went to select, modify and I needed to contract it on two pixels. Then I added a layer mask and pressed Ctrl I and inverted it so we get that outline text look. Then to achieve this text style I, I duplicated this outline text so I double click the layer and go to stroke add black stroke and then the layer mask I mask uh, half of the text that is behind and moved it a little bit down then masked it then I added a simple Phoenix Suns text then I took these squares they are all the same size I duplicated them and colored each row in a different Phoenix Suns color then we have the Suns logo so I just found a PNG picture on the internet I, how I made this line is just simply with the polygonal tool I made a selection and then I colored it in white then I made a selection of this shape and went again to the select modify and contract by two pixels then I added the layer mask and inverted it and then with the layer mask just mask this line that you don't need then I added some small text here with identical squares 
above it and then I had the this the same trick I did before with this line I made here but here I put behind a black triangle and added a Nike logo that was basically the composition and then I added some dirt on a screen blend mode so it was like this and the screen mo blend mode actually just showed the bright parts afterward I added my color correction you can watch my tutorial on how I make my color correction in one of my previous videos so basically that's it that's how I made my Dunder 8 on design nothing really hard to do and you can try to create something similar on your own so thank you for watching this video i hope that this helped somebody don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram see you all soon